All right, and there you have it. So the spacer's in. It's just kind of pulled that O2 sensor up. It's still going to be able to detect exhaust. It's just not going to be as sensitive. But it's all tight. I'm going to put this shroud up and uh, clear the codes and go from there. All right, guys. So uh, I'm using the little uh, IP508S scan tool. Nice little scan tool. It's an all-system scan tool. And it does quite a bit of uh, special functions also. Um, and, and all I want to do is I want, I'm going to monitor the uh, downstream O2 sensors to see if bank 2 is nice and smooth compared to uh, bank 1. Uh, you know, we put the spacer in, and I just want to take a look at that to see how they're, how they're working. So, of course, you got bank 2, sensor 2 over here on the right. You got bank one sensor two over on the left. Now, the downstream O2 sensor should look like the right-hand graph here, bank two, sensor two. I can already tell you that the catalytic converter on the on bank one is not efficient. See how it's got the pulsations? That's not what you want to see. That that will eventually set a. Uh, a, a fault also so we definitely made some progress by putting in that spacer on the uh, bank 2 O2 sensor now understand that the upstream would look more like the left hand sensor you should have a nice pulsation up and down of about 0.1 to 0.9 volts the computer wants to see about 0.45 volts is perfect and that's how it controls the air fuel mixture but the downstream should look like the one on the right and the reason is because that tells the computer the catalytic converter is working imagine if the catalytic converter wasn't there and you just had a straight pipe all the way back the downstream O2 sensor would should look exactly like the upstream O2 sensor because the same amount of uh, oxygen is going to be in the uh, ups, you know going to be hitting the upstream sensor as it's hitting the downstream sensor. So the catalytic converter burns up those emissions and it uses up the oxygen. So you should see a uh, a nice stable. Uh, pretty much a flat line. Now if you rev it up and you'll see that as I rev it you'll start seeing some pul pulsations you know that's perfectly normal. I mean obviously uh, you're, you're richening and leaning out the mixture as you rev it up and then let off the, the gas so uh, the Cadillac converter can't take all that away but whenever you're just cruising down the road at a steady speed or obviously I'm sitting here idling uh, it should be nice and smooth like the one on the right is. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, that should keep his check engine light off, at least for bank two. Uh, by looking at bank one, uh, I don't know how long that one's going to last, so he'll probably be bringing it back, and as long as it's only bank one that's got the fault, then I'll do the same thing to bank one, and he'll be able to keep driving this without a check engine light and uh, having to replace the catalytic converters as soon. He's eventually going to have to replace the catalytic converters because eventually even those spacers aren't enough to uh, trick the computer into thinking that it's a nice clean mixture. Anyway, I'm done. You guys take care. We'll see you.